What's up, y'all? This your boy Jay Ross hanging out in St. Louis downtown with the top band Juanita Place, y'all. Just put it down at the old rock house, y'all. We want to talk to them a little bit, find out what they got going on, how they got started, and all that type of noise. And uh, they got a new CD out, y'all. Y'all better check them out, get with them. Her hero. And uh, what's it called? Her hero. Her hero. What that mean? Her hero. He said, what you that gotta mean? get the album, read the package. <laughs> no, no, no. You got to tell my people that. Everybody ain't from the loop. Right, Her right. Hero. Her hero is, uh, is actually just a basic statement about who we are as musicians. Uh, we are basically like a, a collective of creatives. And we are here to save music, be one of the heroes of music. Her is basically music, it's personification of music. So that's that's pretty much what it is. The first, the first track on the album, Brand New, basically sets the whole stage for that. Well, you know, uh, we all from public school, we, we don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Public school. Yeah, we, uh, we, from, the, we from the public it's school. Sometimes he get too small for himself, but it's, it's a good thing. It's a good hey, now, no, now how did y'all get started? We, uh, basically, it was me and Jason. Uh, we started as a, as a two pieces looking for a bass player. Bass yeah, man, that, that, right there? Yeah, the bass man that came a lot later. It started off uh, as a two piece, and a mutual friend hooked, uh, hooked me and BJ up. Yeah, it got a call. It was out the blue. It was almost divine. And I haven't talked to the friend in, in over a year, but he knew we had common interest in getting the band started. Right. So he, the three of us, got together and started rehearsing. You know, in my basement on Wadi Place, and that's how that's how we got the name Wadi Place. I was named after named after the street you live on. Street. Yeah, the street. Uh, I don't live on that street. Uh, you just there. <laughs> no. <laughs> For the stalkers. <laughs> <laughs> we don't rehearse there no more. Oh yeah. Yeah, because I got I just had a new boy. Oh yeah. Now how long y'all been hitting? As, as a unit? Uh, about two years. Two and a half, yeah, close to three. Yeah, about, yeah almost, almost three years now. Um, uh, so yeah, we started we start off as a jazz cover band and then eventually start writing songs for ourselves and decided we need to put a CD together and it just basically transformed, transformed into this band. It's an original band, write our music, produce our music, you know, record everything. So, one stop shop here, baby. Oh yeah. yeah. Now get tough, man. I said you up there wailing away, man. Up there looking like uh, <laughs> looking like Joe Satriani, man. <laughs> a little bit. Hey, now were you, were you uh, patting yourself after growing up when you picked up your guitar? Uh, Hendrix and Buddy Guy is the first two that really do me in. Every, it doesn't matter what they're doing, when they're doing. Just listen to them. It's what does it for me. After that, yeah, guitar players align long. You know, Carlos Santana, Eric Johnson. Everybody and everybody, I can list, but I try to be myself most. Oh yeah, it sounds great. What about you, bass man? You got the music man on lockdown. Uh, I only picked up the bass a week ago, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm up. I'm up. <laughs> uh, Victor Wooten, probably number one. Oh yeah. After that, anybody really? Oh, that's your favorite. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So y'all, once again, we at the Rock House in downtown by, by St. Louis. By the way, this guy plays like. Everything like he is violin, piano, bass, drums. bass guitar, lead guitar, drums, uh, oh, and pickle, man. And, and, uh, and banjo, <laughs> right? And the recorder, remember the recorder from third grade? Hey, now, hey, putting together that uh, that album, uh -huh. your, I mean, your first CD, I said album, like right. we in uh, back in the 70s or something. Hey, I still collect uh, albums, I'm telling you, but putting together the first CD and uh. Everybody coming together. How difficult is it for a band to get something like that going off the ground? Well, I tell you what, it, we got a special thing going because we can get along. Number one, and we're talented, so that's a hard combination to, get to stay together. But as far as putting the album together, yeah, you know, we all still got full-time jobs, and we, you know, we're trying to make this our full-time job. But uh, but we all dedicated, pretty, probably more dedicated than most. That you know, we, even though we do have families and stuff. Yeah. But uh, time-wise, it's, it's a lot of time. He put in a lot of work in the studio. He done a lot of all the mixing on the on the, the project, her hero project. And we kind of kind of pieced it together. Usually start off with the drums, drums and bass. Once the drums are solid, then we'll build on top of that. And uh, he'll come lay his guitar parts in later. But, uh, yeah. All the mixing and mastering comes. Yeah, Jason. Jason usually, Jason usually like he'll take everything home and record in his studio. I'll take everything to my studio. He'll give me a CD, and uh, after that, just really start the mixing process. I mean, it it takes it takes a long time, uh, and really mostly it's really about allowing people to really be themselves as musicians, uh, and not necessarily trying to 
make everybody what you think they should be. Right, that's, right. That's really, that's really kind of how you get along as a group. It's just to allow that freedom. Yeah. Now you got a second album coming out? Uh, we're working on, we're working on right here, so right now. Well, uh, you're gonna have to speak up because Thomas is loud as I don't know what. Uh, well, yeah, basically, basically, we're working on we're working on another project right now. Uh, we're working on writing and just basically getting a lot of things together. I mean, the album is only one project that we're doing. We have several different things that we're all, you know, working on as a group and individually. Well, get get the information on how people can uh, find you guys and purchase the CD. Uh, JuanitaPlace.com. It is Juanita, like the Spanish name. J U A N I T A P L A C E dot C O M. Yeah, right. <laughs> Don't even worry about the www. Right, yeah. Just, or just Google Juanita Place. Yeah. That yeah. will help yeah. out as well. Google Consult Juanita. the map of Belleville. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna let them roll, y'all. They just finished up the set. We in downtown St. Louis, J. Ross TV, 10 million strong, y'all. We're gonna roll up out here. Peace. Peace.